Turn your Bible with me right now to the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 9. Joshua chapter what? 9. Nine. Thank you, Jesus. Joshua chapter 9. You might do have the NIV. Yes, daddy. Joshua 9 and verse number 1 coming. Joshua chapter 9 and verse number what? 1. 1 coming. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. <laughs> Look unto your neighbor and say neighbor. Neighbor. No powers. No powers. No demons. No demons. Can fight you. Can fight you. Ask me why. Why, sir? Because you are a child of God. Amen. Amen. Say, because I am a child of God. Because I'm a child of God. Shout amen. Amen. I want you to preach. You know, you will enjoy this message today. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. You know what? Enjoy. Shout amen. amen. Because this is a right message amen. to someone. A right word? Message. Ah, uh, attorney, come, Daniel. Stella, come. Everybody, watch this. This is attorney Daniel Akano. Am I right? And Stella Victor Martinson. Stella Victor. Shout amen. amen. <laughs> now everybody, watch this. Now, Stella has a wonderful brother, a strong man, a strong what? Man. Very strong, powerful one. And Stella is the junior sister to who? Attorney. Junior. Everybody watch this. And right now, we are in the cafeteria world. Kaveta height. And am I right? Okay. Now watch this. If the area boys or the guys are in this place knows that Stella has a wonderful, strong brother, no one will mess with Stella. No one will what? I want you to cast your mind back. In those days back home. The girls that you know. They, that they are brothers you know. They can insult you. And you cannot even touch them. You'll be upset and say. Ah, what, what are you? Try me. Your hand will be like. Try me. And you see what my brother. He said you are lucky. You are lucky based on what. Because when you trust Stella, Daniel will come in and attack you, beat you. Does it make sense? Yes. Now watch this. We are all, all like Stella. And our papa is Daniel, almighty God. Shout amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The demons and principalities, powers knows that, God bless you God. They know that church, that when they try you, your big God, the one that you serve, will avenge and revenge. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And based on that, no powers can mess up with you. Amen. Because they know that when they try you, your papa will show up. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. They know that when they mess with you, your God will show up. It means that we serve a mighty God 
and we serve a great God. Amen. So today I am here to announce to someone that do not be afraid. Because we are not serving the dead gods. But we are serving a living God. Amen. The one that the dead could not hold him captive. And even in the grave, he was still God. I am afraid. Man of God, I don't know. Look at me right now. So it means that you live in fear. But God didn't give you the spirit of fear. But of what? Power, sound mind. And what? Sound mind. You must have sound mind. So sound mind, church, is from God. And at times, you yourself, you must create sound mind for your own self. And you can do it. Many people believe that sound mind, you know, uh, means that you don't want to talk to anyone. Listen to me. With due respect, please, pardon me to use this word. When you own a light bill, water one, and your rent, do not try for any vacation. I am begging, cancel the vacation. Because it is not the environment that will give you peace. You cannot be on vacation whereby you'll be thinking about the next thing when you arrive. Capital, uh, 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 capital One? Capital One and Bank of America will write you. Everybody shout hallelujah. So it is not the environment that will give you peace. Shout amen. So it means that you must go to that word vacation with what? Sound mind, peace. Whereby you know that you don't have any debts. If not, the enemy will wait the time you will land. As soon as your plane touch down, you open your mailbox. The letters will be coming. Pa, 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 pa. You will open it, church. You will read, let's take it too. And all the vacation. I don't know if I'm right. Listen to me. Pardon me to say this. Do you know the reason why church everybody watch this look at this great nation united states of america whether you like it or not america is number one may the lord bless america shout hallelujah look at this great nation am i right and listen to me this is very important look onto your neighbor and say neighbor neighbor this is very important this is very important shout amen amen do you know that the day you will receive your passport, am I right? There will be a booklet, something that will attach to your passport. Now the world is yours. I don't know if the man of God, are you sure? Okay, now the world is what? Yours. It means that when you take your passport, you can travel all over without any very powerful passport. Am I right? God bless America. But watch this. But you receive that powerful small note, letter that now the world is yours. But how come you cannot travel? With due respect, pardon me to say this. Some of you even doesn't know where your passport when you're about to travel, that will be the time you look for it. When you go home today, check it. Maybe it has already expired. Go and renew. Shout hallelujah. But the question right now is, how come some? Listen, somebody will say that prophet, why? It's because if you want to travel now, you have to pay your rent. 
one month ahead all your bills. Am I right? Am I speaking the truth? You have to check. So you have your money to buy your ticket, everything. But when you check about the next month one, say, let me stop and go next year. 2023 will come. Let me stop and go another one. Another 2024. But listen, today, today, this is that say the Lord. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I said, this is that say the Lord. Amen. May you get your passport ready. Amen. And renew your passport. Amen. Because the word is yours. Amen. Will fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is going to make a way for you Amen. where there is no way. Amen. In terms of finances, church, may the living God create avenues for you. Amen. May the Lord make a way for you where there is no way. Amen. May the Lord give you a good job. Amen. May the Lord give you sound mind. Amen. May the Lord change the things that you've been praying. Amen. May the Lord fulfill your heart desire. Amen. And I prophesy to everyone that right, does right, say right. the Lord Amen. no demons can lock you here Amen. may the Lord open doors for you Amen. may the Lord open doors for you Amen. if I'm speaking to somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah shout glory be to God glory be to God look unto your neighbor and say neighbor, neighbor now the world now the world is yours, is yours. will come to pass will come to pass if you believe that shout hallelujah hallelujah Shout glory be to God. Glory be to God. So look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, we serve a big God. We serve a big God. You don't have to be afraid. You have to be afraid of the enemy. Of the enemy. Because your God. Because your God is a big God. Is a big God. Now everybody watch this. What is the meaning of covenant? What is the meaning of what covenant? We have evil covenant, and we have godly covenant. I am not talking about evil covenant, but I want to talk about the covenant of God. The covenant of what? Of God. Of God. How come a man and a woman, you know, church, let me use this place, will stand here and the man of God will lead them to exchange what? Vow. Rings. Am I right? This one will put, another one will put. Now you may kiss your what? Okay, now everybody watch this. It means that, everybody, please watch. It means that now, that lady is what? Your wife. And that man is your husband. Shout amen. amen. And how come a man and a woman must first recite what? Words. Before... They exchange the word, the vow. Do you know something? There is something called a, a verbal covenant. A verbal word, covenant. covenant. You can use this to your mouth, church, and make a covenant with someone. We do respect, please. Our young, young girls, that you think that because power, God has ordained power in the word, in the tongue. Be very careful. Your boyfriend, I love you, you know, I can't believe you, you know, dead. You know, some, stop that, excuse me, that stupid covenant thing, thing. You know that there is no way I can leave you. The person is your boyfriend, but not your husband. Be very careful. And at times, some guys will force girls in the whole thing. Let's use something, you know, to just, and you will lick my blood. I will also lick your, this is, stop those things. It can affect you in future. If you have done a thing like that, church, after, not today. No, no, no. It's a serious thing. Starting from next week, Wednesday night, see me. I will not say come forward, no. Because at that time, you didn't know God. It's very important. It is very what? Important. Covenant. I love you. Promise me that you will not leave me. I promise. You think that it's just, no. That is the reason why church, some people will marry in the whole thing, but their man will still be because of those things. At times, the man will call the woman, the man will call the woman, whereby the man is married, will call the woman and say that, I know that we are soulmate. 
uh, you know, I don't like my wife. I always think about you and the whole thing. And you two say that I always think about you uh, on your way to work. Shout amen. I pray that your husband or your wife one day will drop a recorder inside your car. Then you hear sound. I didn't like it. I, I, I have regretted being with that stupid man. Oh, me too. Yes, I know. I know. When am I going to see you? I can't wait to see you. It means that covenant is what? It's working. Somebody say, Papa, why? God has a way for you today. And I'm going to show you something. Now watch this. After this, after the rings, am I right? And the verbal thing, now you can have the woman and the woman can have the what? The man. And after verbal one and the rings one, clothe two. It is very important. You can use your dress to make a covenant with someone. It happened to Papa David and Jonathan. And you can also use your shoes. Very important. So when we put godly covenant church here today, let's move from this and let me show you something now. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God came and God didn't use money to purchase us. Because silver and gold belongs to who? Almighty God. But God in his own wisdom used his son Jesus, his blood. And he purchased us with what? With his what? With his blood. He bought us. To do his what? His blood. So it means that in the realms of the spirit, when we talk about money, blood is the spiritual currency. Blood. His own blood. He purchased us from who? Satan. Lucifer. And said that my children that you conquered, now I have come to deliver them. I will use my blood and to buy all of them and he bought us. That is why in God's own wisdom, with due respect, please, everybody forgive me to use this word. In God's own wisdom, there was no sexual intercourse between Mary and who? Joseph. Satan could have questioned God and said, from what? Because we know that our grandma, Adam and Eve, our papa, you know, they sinned against God. And our blood, everything, you know, am I right? So God needed a genuine blood. Blood that doesn't know what is called sin. That is the reason why in his own wisdom, Holy Ghost overpowered who? Mary. And Mary conceived. There was no blood from David, uh, Joseph or Mary church. The blood came from above. Pure blood. The blood doesn't, that doesn't know what is called sin. And that blood purchased us. Shout amen. The blood did what? Purchase us. So it means that anyone that will give his or her life to God, you will have a covenant with God. The day you will confess and say that dear Lord, may you forgive all my sins. Now come into my heart. I will want to invite you Lord. From henceforth I will not sin again. Now oh Lord, may you cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Church, just a space of two minutes, one minute, you will become a child of what? A child of God. And you will have a covenant with God. And when you have a covenant with God, and when Satan tries to fight you, the man that you have a covenant with will not sit down and to allow the enemies and demons to conquer you. So anytime, can you sit down and for someone to enter your house and touch your children just anyhow? As a father, as a mother, you will fight. That is exactly our God always do. We are his people. Am I right? So he will never sit down and to allow demons to enter your house and touch you unlawfully. 
your God will rise and defend you. Amen. So today I am here to announce to everyone yes. that your battles, they are over. Amen. All the things that you've been going to, I want you to know that you have a mighty man. You have a warrior. Yes. His name is Almighty God. Yes. The name of Jesus is lifted above every other name. Yes. And at the mention of that name, Jesus, every name must bow yes. and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. So I declare unto someone right now, we have a defender. We have the father of the fatherless. Today he will defend you and he will deliver you. Stay connected. Do not live in. Stay connected and see what he will do. So I promise you today, that all the battles and the things that you've been going through can never diminish you. Amen. The Lord will sustain you. Amen. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, Do you have a covenant with God? Do you have a covenant with God? I want you to ask your neighbor and say, Do you have a covenant with God? Do you have a covenant with God? Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we have church goers and we have the ch uh, children of what? Of God. I would like to be a child of God. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Glory be to God. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. Look unto your neighbor and say covenant. Covenant. Look unto your neighbor and say covenant. Covenant. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the time you didn't know God, if you make those things, you know, that kind of church, starting from Wednesday, come and see me. Private. It will never go anywhere. I will just lead you and we will break it and you will be free. Shout hallelujah. And you will be what? You will be free. And you have to be very careful. Shout hallelujah. You have to be what? Very careful. Shout amen. Imam, read right now. The book of Joshua chapter one, uh, 9. Joshua 9, 1 NIV. Everybody look into your Bible. Huh? Let's go. Now when all the kings west of Jordan heard about these things, the king in the hill country, in the western foothill, and along the entire coast of the Mediterranean Sea, as far as Lebanon, the king of the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Parasites, Hivites, and Jebusites, they came together to wage war against Joshua and Israel. Verse 3. However, when the people of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and I, they resorted to a ruse. Everybody... Watch this. When the children of what? Gibeonites. Am I right? Yes, sir. Heard what, what? Almighty God did through the hand of what? Joshua. Joshua. Do you know what they did? Everybody watch this. We must learn something from these people. Church. They said to themselves that we don't have power to fight God. We don't have any strength to fight God's people. So we have to do something. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Because the living God is with what? With, with them. them. And he was with them. Yes, sir. Shout amen. amen. So we cannot fight these people. So they call the elders. I pray that the Lord... Please forgive me to say this. I pray that the Lord will give you elders who have, excuse me, sense. Can I tell you something? When we talk about wisdom, it has nothing to do with age. Somebody who is 80, 70, excuse me, can be foolish. And someone who is 49, 50, 60, can be what? I'm telling you. So be very careful. The elders, they sat down church and they devised a wonderful strategy. They said that Victor, Howard, Joseph, uh, Hilda, uh, Joy, uh, June, July, everyone church, we will, we have to send you guys. You must go out there and meet the children of what? Israel. Israel. Go out there and meet them. Elders, to meet them for what? They will finish us. They will kill us. Then they said that we will try to dry all our bags, our shoes, 
our bread, wine, you know, we will make all of them to be like uh, 20, uh, two years something that we come from what? Afar. We have to use something to deceive them. And indeed, they did. It was what? Deception. They deceived them. So the word of the Lord said that they started their journey. Why? Because they saw what the God Almighty, the God of Israel, did. So they said that we have to exempt ourselves from these people and we have to connect ourselves to the word Israel. So it means that they were talking about covenant. We have to made a wonderful covenant with Israel. them so that they cannot destroy us. So it means that when you made a covenant with God, when you leave Satan's camp and move to the camp of God, eh, Satan will be upset. Yes. That you've been in the world, the camp of who? Almighty God. But Satan cannot do you nothing. Why? Because your God is the mighty God. Jehovah God. Shout amen. Amen. And when they started their journey, something happened. You might read. Yes, sir. However, when the people, verse 3, however, when the people of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and I, uh -huh. they resorted to a ruse. They went as a delegation whose donkeys were loaded with worn-out sacks and old wineskin, cracked and mended. They put worn and patched sandals on their feet and wore all clothes. All the bread of their food supply was dry and moldy. Then they went to Joshua in the camp at Gilgal and said to him and the Israelites, We have come from a distant country. Make a treaty with us. Seven. The Israelites said to the Hivites, But perhaps you live near us. How? So how can we make a treaty with you? We are your servants, they said to Joshua. But Joshua asked, Who are you? And where do you come from? Now everybody watch it. Joshua asked, Who are you and where do you what? Come, from. come from. Now watch this. They went to the camp of what? Israel. Am I right? You have to look for God. You have to seek after God. My God. He will not come to you. My God. But you have to go to him. He said that draw near to me and I will also draw near, draw near to you. If you don't draw near to your God, he will never. He is a gentle God. So today God is telling somebody that leave all the excess luggage, you know, put them aside and just meet your God halfway and see what he will do. Because the word of the Lord said that the time the father, according to the parable of Jesus, the time the father saw his son coming, the father met him halfway. So start making a wonderful move. Change your mind. Church. Listen, this is a simple thing. When you hit the dead end, you will not have a choice than to turn back. When you force yourself to go forward or to move, you will crash somebody's house. So dead end, turn. So today you must turn your life around. Come back to God. Come back to Christ. Come back to Jesus. Let the Lord come into your situation. The disciples tried, you know, everything. The time they were in the, the boat, am I right? They tried. Peter had a wonderful experience. Everything they all tried, church. And they found out that, hey, all oh, our experience, and, and what, church, they couldn't do anything. And they, they, they told Jesus, that, Papa, can't you see that we are about to what? And Jesus Christ rebuked the world, the wind, and the storm. And said, that, Oh, ye wind and the storm, be still. Shout amen. amen. Today, you must let Christ lead. Amen. Sorry to say this. Do not use your own ways or, or your own ability, church. Allow God to lead you. Shout hallelujah. Amen. And I'm telling you, he will never lead you to the wrong place. Amen. 
He will lead you to the right place. So let God come into your situation. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, as a young girl, you are here. You need somebody. You know, this is the time for you to marry or something. Seek the face of God. Talk to God. You need a godly person. You need somebody that will love you. Everybody shout hallelujah. And always pray that Lord, may your will be done. May your will be done. Many people believe in this. Oh, our God will fulfill our heart desire. You know, yes, God will fulfill your heart desire. But I want you to know that the will of God uh, will always supersede your will. So when you tell him that may your will be done, the Lord will never give you the wrong person. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord will not give you what? The wrong, the wrong person. person. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to someone? Yes, sir. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. And young girls in this house, if you have to pray for your, your husband in terms of relationship and everything, church, after the word called, you know, a God-fearing person, you must always pray that the person will be wise. The person will be what? Will be wise. So that that person can lead you. Because that person is going to be a driver. That will drive you. And your family. So you don't need a man who is careless. But a man who can be what? Focused. And lead the whole family. Onto the right path. Shout hallelujah. You don't need a man that somebody will tell him. That drive to this place. Tend to this place. No, no, no. A man that will be what? Focused. May the Lord give you one. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And pardon me to say that if your husband is not like that, pray the Lord will change him. Amen. And he too will become someone. If your wife is not like that, pray your wife will become like that person. May the living God usher you right now. Amen. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Glory to God. So now watch this. Joshua asked them and said that, who are you? Right. Where from you, what? And they told Joshua, in my read. But Joshua asked, who are you? Uh -huh. And where do you come from? Uh -huh. They answered, your servants have come from a very, uh, your servants have come from a very distant country because of the fame of the Lord your God. Now watch this. The things that they did, eh? Joshua and his men, you know, uh, they checked the uh, things and found out that yes, indeed, these people, they came from what? <laughs> they checked about their shoes, mm -hmm. bread, wine, and those, they said, wow, you guys must be tired. All the way from, wow, seven days journey. Not knowing that church, the people, <laughs> they were what? Neighbors. But they devised a what? A strategy. Because of covenant. Because they used the word, we saw everything and we heard. And we know that you guys have the wonderful God. And based on, based on that, we have to connect ourselves to your God. Shout amen. So, we want you guys to make a covenant with what? You must treat us good. And do you know what happened, church? The word of the Lord said that, lo and behold, the elders and Joshua, you know, they all sampled the what? The bread, the affluent church, found out that, oh, yes, it's true. But they did not inquire from God. Instead of them to go before God, and ask God and say, the Lord, is it true? We need a confirmation. They did not. They checked the outward world appearance, church. Their bread and their wine and the whole thing. And they opened their mouth. And they made a covenant with them. As soon as they made the covenant, church, ah, Almighty God put a stamp. And said that there is no way you guys can reverse it. Let me ask you this question now. How come this end time? This end time. This 21st century world Christians. 
How come church, we always disconnect ourselves from God? I mean some. Troubles will come, you know, uh, uh, test so many things and the person will quit the church. Will leave God. And will begin to chase other gods. It means that you are not faithful. You can never be trusted. The way you do your things, any little thing, God, 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 I've been waiting and the whole thing. If you don't do anything, I'm going back to Afar. Go. You and him. Who needs someone? You need him more than anyone. Shout hallelujah. So do you want to tell God that you came to this church or you gave your life to God based on condition? That Lord, I'm serving you. I want you to give me a husband. Lord, I'm serving you. I want you to give me a house. No, I am sorry. You are serving God because you want to go to heaven. Seek ye the kingdom of God. And it and all things be added unto will be added. If you can serve him and give your life to him, good husband, good wife, your own home, good health, that you can name them, those things will come. Don't put those things first. I have to serve God because God will give me a good husband. That's the reason why at this end time we have to shine our eyes. We have to be very careful because the worldly guys, those out, that they are out there church, moving up and down, changing girls here and then in the whole thing, when they mess up the last place will be the church. They will enter the church and they will be looking for a virgin. Whereby they themselves, they are not virgin. They will come to the prophet of God. I need a good girl. A, a virgin. Are you a virgin? You've destroyed no less than 99 girls out there. And you are looking for a virgin. May the Lord give you your type. May the Lord give you somebody that you guys can correspond to each other. A lady too that I've been, eh? And it will be bumper to bumper. Stop messing girls' lives. Stop. And save the living God. They run to church. They run to church. And you know, uh, this place, you know, we are in America. There is something called confidentiality or something which I cannot cross the line, but church, we have to see and talk to our elders if there are some things that we can do because we have our bylaws too. When we talk about HIV test, it is very important. That if the guy wants to come in to get one of my girls, Hilda or uh, uh, what, what is it, Benice and the whole thing, and if you can allow me, you have to do a test. This one must do a test. We have to check everything because there are some guys out there when they mess up, they will enter the church because they know that when they enter the church, they will find a good girl. I will not sit down as a father for you to mess my children up. I will crush you and fight you. Amen. Because it took me many years to prepare them. But if you guys will allow me, at times when you find love, you put your papa somewhere. You, you have your wife. You cannot stop me. I love him. I am in love. Co continue. When you put me behind, I will fold my hands because I have my limit. But if you can put me in, I will check. Uh, let me go to the church and find some good girls because they are inside the church. And they will come. They, they will pretend to serve the man of God. Some of them will clean and the whole thing if you like come and polish my shoe i will still diagnose you spiritually to know that if you are everybody shout hallelujah you come to the diagnosis <laughs> shout amen i will do look unto your neighbor and say this is very important 
Am I speaking the truth? Am I telling you the truth? You don't have to rush into it. I am begging you. Let there be test. Let there be some things, you know. Shout hallelujah. Uh, we have doctors here. I'm not saying Dr. Satu will do or another doctors. No. But church, if you don't want your... I, I, I respect your privacy. But for you to be on the word, uh, try to shout amen. Am I talking to someone? That doesn't mean that we do respect. Pardon me that when somebody had that sickness or something, the person's life is gone. Who told you? No. The person can live and God can also heal the person. And I believe in he, what? Divine what? Divine healing. And it happened to us. First lady, Pastor Sidel, uh, went on vacation, will be here, I think, today or something. Uh, now, watch it. Uh, 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 two people, first lady and, and I think the board members, shout amen. After that, a faithful lady, HIV, you know, wanted to do orientation, nurses thing, came up in the whole thing. I want to kill myself. You know, something, something, you know. Called me, dropped the phone. Take care of this and this. I'm going to kill myself. It means that the last person that she... Huh? I was sitting in my office to put me into this kind of... I don't, I'm telling you, this work is not easy. I was moving through my office. I said, dear Lord, do I have to call police? Oh, Lord, don't let this girl... The last person... Hey, God, I picked the phone. I said, Lord, ah! I have to call. Oh, Lord, I have to call. Something told me. He said, try her again. When I call, I'm in front of your office. I'm in front of your what? Come in. What happened? She narrated everything. And said, oh, is that? Uh, okay, okay. Go to inside the church, our vending machine. Get three bottles of. Do you have money with you? Yes, I have money. I said, go. Three dollars, get the water. Come and come back. Church, and God did a wonderful thing. God did a what? A wonderful thing. It's inside my office. This is America. Somebody can challenge, but you will not see the person's name. One positive, two negative. <laughs> Prophet, let me give a testimony. No, no, no. Pastor, see, come here. Write it and testify on her behalf. Because I know the way human beings behave. One positive, two negative. Two negative, one was from a DC. Washington DC, something, something hospital. Still inside my office. So you cannot stand here and lie. Man of God, we want to see. You will not see the name, but the elders know and see there and first lady, that's it. And I have a good news for everyone. As I'm talking to you right now, the person has three children now. Shout amen. Got married and have how many children? We give praise to God. And you will never find the name until Jehovah come. Everybody shout hallelujah. So please, when you find yourself in that kind of you don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to say that it, it is too late. Who told you? It is not. You must listen to your doctors and believe also about divine healing. And let the Lord, you know, oh, this and this. Let me just uh, kill myself. My end has come. Who told you, church? Who told you? Stay connected. And I'm telling you, you can even live a healthier life than somebody who doesn't if you can abide by. Look unto your neighbor and say, be focused. And do greater things. Be focused. And do wonderful things. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Glory be to God. I, am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. And listen to me. I don't know. If somebody is in this house. And... Excuse me, you have that kind of a thing, eh? I pray, I pray that the same anointing 
that healed that lady Amen. years ago, Amen. you will receive the same healing. Amen. Receive that same healing. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the power from above Amen. enter your being. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. The man of God is talking about you. Major prophet is talking. Now make about a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. You must always inquire. You must always inquire from God. From God. Shout Amen. Amen. You must always inquire from who? From God. Jehovah God. Now let's go. Read, Ima. Yes, sir. Verse nine. Uh -huh. And they answered, "Your servants have come from a from a very distant country because of the fame of the Lord your God, for we have heard report of Him, all that He did Hold in on. Egypt. Because we have heard report of who? Of Him. Of Him." Church, oh dear Lord, if you know God and if you have a covenant with God, fear not. Amen. Don't be afraid. Amen. Because our God will never let us down. Amen. He is able to do it. Ascendantly, abundantly, and above. Come on. Oh, believe your God. And trust your God. We serve a very big God. Amen. And let me repeat the check. Listen, may the Lord let the same thing please happen to you. Then you will know that indeed you serve. Huh. See, if the Lord had to open our eyes and to see forces, the demons that we face daily, the hands that we always shake. Eh? The hands of serpents and scorpions. That they can't even what? Bite you. If the Lord has to open your eyes. And for you to see the things that every day. You will be walking and will be running at the same time. Like the time God gave me the gift. Fresh. There was no common sense. There was no what? Common sense attached to the gift. I'll be walking inside market, central market. Kumasi, I will see somebody. You will not see the leg, but the head will be walking and the legs will be peeling up there. You know, yes, I used to. Hey, madam, walk! <laughs> the people around will be looking. What's wrong with I said, walk, use your leg. Who are you? What do you have to tell me that I must lose my Am I not walking? And when it go to court, church, right now, how can you, you cannot prove to a judge that I saw the woman, but prophetically. At times, some of those say, stupid boy. Go away. And me too, I will say, go away. Use your leg. If not, I will crush you. You know, central market will be like this. But <laughs> but can I tell you something? But when you begin to grow in the things of God, shout hallelujah. When you <laughs> grow, eh, you will not do things like what? You use wisdom. Am I talking to somebody? If the Lord has to open our eyes, church, In those days, you know, I went to Miss Vivian's uh, place. At that time, you know, we used to use the word called courtship. That these days, you guys call it dating. To know each other and everything. Church, I went to their place, a place called Adie, Adie Mra or Adie Beba somewhere in Kumasi. Uh, Sophia, I think you know that place. Santasi area. Adie Mra, uh, run about. Something run about. I went to church. I was coming, I saw a mad, excuse me, a mad lady. And the Lord told me that this woman issue is not, the woman is a, a witch herself. I said, Lord, what? Can somebody, don't you know that somebody, somebody, when we talk about those spirits, church, somebody can fight 
himself or her what? Herself. And you'll be spending money on that person. Yeah. That is the area they can use to drain your money to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiritually, they can. That's the reason why, church, when we talk about those spirits and the whole thing, you don't have to take them. It's nasty. It doesn't make sense. And you'll be spending money. So I said, Lord, I want you to prove to me. And I saw her coming. I said, I will face this woman. I said, Lord, prove to me. Church, the woman too started facing me. And lo and behold, when we were about to, the woman used another turn and said, stupid boy, stupid boy, stupid boy. Whoa. I said, madam, come, come. He said, I won't come. Fire around you. Fire, 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 fire. A mad person, a woman, saw the fire. I said, oh, okay, okay, papa. I said, come. So I started, and the woman started, you know, church, saw the fire. When you have a covenant with God, he will protect you. He will what? Protect you. Never in your life go to church. This is a big thing for me to say. Because a Christian cannot go to a far place. It's a shame. It's disgrace to God. Let unbelievers. That's the reason why I use the word. It is very, you know, hard for me to. Where do you have to move from God's house and go to a far and receive a ring? That that ring will be a sign of protection. That that thing around your waist will be a sign of protection. That that cream, when you use, your husband will love you more. Can I tell you something? If you don't stop that kind of cream, eh? Very soon, your face, that man will see you and will be running. You cannot use anything to charm. Because charms have a wonderful expiring date. When the charm expired, eh? The way he will slap you. May the Lord give you favor and love, submissiveness, genuine love, pure love, and you understand each other. Shout hallelujah. So today I declare unto everyone, if you have any strange ring from somewhere after the service, throw it away. Amen. If you are afraid, bring it. There was a times uh, my daughter... Uh, Sema, you brought someone, oh, Serena, brought someone that the ring was a, a, a toy. You know. Do you know that I still have it? Yeah, I can show it today. Uh, yeah, I will show it to you. Came to my office after, I said, no, no, do you know the reason why your life, things have been this and the whole thing is because of it. Because the way, uh, uh, you know, they move. Yeah, big one. So, I said, let me have it now. So I pour oil, I wrap it, and the whole thing, I still have it. Shout hallelujah. A covenant. Go home and throw it away. Any cream, anything, something, something around you. Ah, how can a Christian behave like that? And I don't think abundance grace members can do that. I don't think you can do that. But if you have those things, church, shame on you. I will not say excuse me. Shame on you. You must serve God. Shout hallelujah. Because you cannot serve two masters. You must serve only God. Some trust in chariots and horses. But I from Jehoshaphat will trust the name of the living God. Amen. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. And righteous will run. And they are saved. Juju cannot save you. Afa cannot save you. Strange God cannot save you. Mame Wata cannot save you. Nobody can save you. But it's only God. Made a covenant with God. So that when something happens to you, He will come in and defend you.
Look at somebody and say, he will come in and defend you. Can I tell you something now? If you have two masters, your God will never bless you. Do you know that? Ask me. Because when he bless you, you will give the credit to, and God is jealous about his glory. He will never share his. So put those people aside and say to God, you alone that I will serve, whether rain or shine, if things are right or not, I will serve you. When things become tough, I will serve you. When I'm going through storms, I will never leave you and see what the Lord will do. He will never leave you. He will defend you. He will fight on your behalf because you have a covenant with him. Shout hallelujah. There was a time in uh, Virginia when we started our Finish preaching everything. Powerful man said, the guy came and said, Prophet, what is it? Yeah, it's me. I have them under my bed. Alexandra, somewhere, Virginia. Sir, we finished the service. Let's go. I went there with Paul and uh, Morris. Say, Prophet, I'm afraid to enter. I said, Paul, stand here. Church, I have to. This kind of job, eh? Somebody's bed. I have to put my head. Whether snake or something. Hey, this job. Everybody shout. <laughs> here comes the calabash another plastic bag black one big one open the whole thing said you know something share butter in some kind of things and uh, the one they put around the, their waist beads uh, you know a man of those things you know with animal skins and one two three four five as i said you have a knife here yes man of god give me the knife and the guy run and you know what I open it and come and see Arabic language, something. I say, this is a paper and a, a pen, something. How come, how come a paper notebook with what? Ink, a pen, can protect you. I open it and say, come here. Listen, oh my God. Oh my God. Papa, go to this place, another one. Check. Listen. The friends you have around your waist cannot save you. That ring can never save you. That shea butter things can never. That water thing can never. If you know how many demons that they are inside that water, the water they just ship, you will worship. Your case will be. Can, can I tell you something? Throw those things somewhere. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Because we serve a great God. You are here. You have some people back home that they always, when somebody is coming, they will prepare the water, the charm. Oh, Frank Dumont is not around. And when you are about to use Baba, Baba, Baba Fuseni, Baba. Continue Baba Fuseni. You will never receive anything. Put the God of Baba Fuseni aside and serve the living God. He died and on the third day, he rose from the dead. The dead could not hold him cut. And he's sitting at the right hand of God, interceding for us. Don't leave God. Do not leave your God. Anyone that will try to talk against your God, or will try to break your spirit, or will try to, you know, discourage you from the things of God, church, watch that person. You know, church, it, church, it, church it, pray, 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 you know, the uh, wrong, you know, uh, poor people serve God, you know, and we love about where from those things in the whole thing. Church, when you bring those things on my table, I will fight you. If you believe other God, serve that God, and let me serve, because the freedom of what? Worship. Let me serve my God. Shout hallelujah. They will bring so many things on the table, but listen to me. If you can check all the books, and I don't want to mention all the books, and all the gods, the people that came on air that said that this and this, and this it's only our, my papa, Jesus Christ, that the dead could not hold him captive. So I am here boldly to tell you that our religion, church, the God that we serve, 
This powerful religion is not a dead God. He is a living God. Shout amen. And the people, you know, go ahead. Be fast. Uh, um, yes, verse 9 again. 1154. Uh -huh. For we have heard report, reports of him. All that he did in Egypt. 10. And all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan. Sihon, king of Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who reside, uh, who reside in Ashtaroth. 11. And our elders and all those living in our country said to us, Take provisions for your journey. Go and meet them. You know, you know they use elders. Am I right? May the Lord give you good elders. Amen. May the Lord give you good leader. Amen. And I want you to know that you have one. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want you to know that you have us. Amen. First lady and the man of God. Shout Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Look unto your neighbor and say, a good leader will give you good direction. A good leader will give you good direction. The, the leaders, church, attorney, the leaders, Paulette, the leaders called them. And the leaders gave them a, a agenda A. The leaders strategically positioned themselves and they said that we need this and the whole thing. The things that the people will know or will believe us. And they did everything. The word of the Lord said that in the elders in the city he said unto uh, Elijah, you, as you can see, where we are is well situated. Am I right? And our water is bad and our land is what? Unproductive. The elders. Not the people, the elders. Good elder. May the Lord give you a good elder. That's the reason why in our families and the whole thing, when you have a, a, you know, a wicked uh, elder, uncle, Church, they will mess the entire family. May the Lord give you a good one. Amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And do you know, I don't know if you indeed check about this. Those who have good mind, good word, mind, at times those people will not get money. I'm talking about back home. Our elders, the good, good ones, 70%. Those that when they get money, they will give with good mind. But they will have good mind, but they will not have something to push. But the wicked ones will have money. And they'll begin to maltreat people, treat people just anyhow. That is the reason why church is about time for God to bless Christians. So that you can take care of many people. You can do greater things and build the kingdom of God. And you are one of them in Jesus name. Amen. Ima, let's go. Let's go. Yes sir. 11. And our elders and all those living in our country said to us. Take provision for your journey. Go and meet them and say to them. We are your servants. Make a treaty with us. 12. This bread of ours was warm when we packed it at home. On the day we left to come to you. But now. See how dry and moldy it is. Now watch this home. <laughs> Neighbors home. Neighbors. From Capital High to Lago. <laughs> from this place to where? Lago. Neighbors. And look at the way they designed themselves. Uh, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, this bread of ours was warm when we packed it at home. On the day we left to come to you. But now see how dry and moldy it is. 13. And this wineskin that we filled were new. But see how cracked they are. And our clothes and sandals are worn out by the very long journey. 14. The Israelites sampled their provisions. Hold but on. <laughs> hold on. And the Israelites did what? They sampled. They sampled the award. Their provisions. provisions. And what happened? But did not inquire of the Lord. <laughs> 14. Yes, Am I right? Daddy. Yes, daddy. But they did not what? They did not inquire of the Lord. Shout amen. And what happened, Emmanuel? 
Yeah, they sampled and they did not inquire of the Lord. 15. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace. Hold on. They sampled the award the provision, provision, but they did not inquire of the Lord. Of the Lord. <laughs> okay, come. Oh, yes, it's true. Oh, you guys came from. Oh, 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 oh. You guys need water? We have to give them water to drink. Oh, oh, oh. But they did not inquire from the Lord. And Joshua made a covenant with them. A covenant of what? Peace. And said that, okay. When we get to your place, from here to Pennsylvania, from here to Atlanta, Georgia, we will not destroy you guys. Because of what? The covenant. They connected themselves. Shout amen. Joshua opened his what? His mouth and said that, yes, indeed. Whereby Joshua you can never reverse it. It means that when God made a covenant with someone, our God can never break the covenant. He will never reverse his covenant. But we always break the covenant we have with God. Because he is a covenant keeping God and he respects covenant. So if you can stay connected, he too will stay connected. But when you leave him, he will not chase you. When you leave him for another God, your God is a gentle God, will never say anything. How can you leave the creator and serve the creation? That wood that you always put blood and pour libation and those things, is that not the same God that designed those things? Woods is God. That clay is something that you, 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 uh, now, now everybody watch this. How can you, you, yourself, church, will mold something and you will save that thing that you, yourself, design? It must something happen. Yes, sir. 15. Uh -huh. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace uh -huh. with them uh -huh. to let them live. Uh -huh. And the leaders of the assembly ratified it by oath. Uh -huh. hey, hey, everybody watch this. The leaders of what? Of the assembly. Uh -huh. They what? Ratified it by oath. They made a covenant. They said that mm, let there be this when we treat you guys. And what happened, Emmanuel? 16, that 16. Is. Three days after they made a treaty with the Gibeonites, the Israelites heard that they were neighbors living near them. <laughs> Three days after what? After the covenant. The Israelites what? Hey. That they were what? The neighbors. <laughs> and Joshua was so upset. <laughs> Why do you guys have to deceive us? Why? Why? I have to kill. But Joshua you opened your mouth and elders put a stamp. When you try, the God who believes in covenant will deal with you, Joshua. He became upset. And he looked at them and said that from henceforth, you guys will live among us, but you shall be a woodcutter. 
Joshua imposed something on them. He said that you guys will live among us, but in terms of wood, to go to the farm, you, you guys will cut wood for the sacrifice. And you guys will bring water, you know, wood cutters and everything. It means that all the woods that God will need about the, what the sacrifice, you guys will be the one that will go to the farm. And they lifted their hands and said, Sir, we will do. It is better for you to be a wood cutter for God yes. than to enjoy the food of Satan. Yes. It is better for you to carry God's wood, to be a wood cutter. And to dine with Lucifer. Yes. And they accepted it. Yes. They said that we will do. Yes. Shout hallelujah. You know, everybody watch this. Joshua was upset. Uh, thought that it was something like a curse. That you guys should live among us. Yes, you guys are indeed accepted and everything. But in terms of rules, you know, it means that that mere job you guys will do. And they accepted it. But Joshua didn't know. Joshua didn't know that he positioned them. Eh? Eh? and I want a strategic place because it means that they have to go to the farm to cut wood and they have to use the wood to sacrifice unto God it means that without those people there is no way to sacrifice they accepted it and said that for us to live and to cut what? wood we are ready they accepted the offer. Let the God of covenant, the one who what we say, do you have a covenant with God? Are you a child of God? If you're a child of God, church, you know. I say you what? You know. If you are not, you know. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want you to know today that you serve a wonderful God. Amen. You have a mighty warrior. Amen. A giant behind what? You always. Amen. He will never leave you nor forsake thee. He shall be with you till the end of the world. Amen. May the living God bless you. Amen. Be on your feet right now. Amen. Amen. Everybody be on your feet. Read this. Let me show my children this. This is very important. Genesis 9. Please don't take your Bible. Just be on your feet. Genesis chapter 9. Yes, sir. And verse number 8 coming. Genesis chapter 9 verse 8. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him. NIV or King James. NIV that is. Uh -huh. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him. I now establish my covenant. Am I, the one, am I the one who wrote it? No, sir. I now establish my word. My covenant. God, with, God himself. May the Lord establish his covenant with you. Amen. And your entire family. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, when it is our time, church, we will die and go, but our children will still have a covenant with God. Amen. So, look. With due respect, can I tell you something, right? I want you to check your background. Something, you know, some of our four forefathers, you know, serve other gods and look at the bad things they, those people, am I right? And we started fighting on sin agent and, and now you are okay. And let me tell you something. After you, your children will never fight demons. Amen. But they will sing praise. Amen. Why? Because you have now connected yourself with God and God has now disconnected Tell your children from what? Those things. We serve a covenant God. Amen. He said, I'm not establishing my covenant with you. Uh -huh. And, and your descendants. Uh -huh. After you. After you. And with Am every I the one who wrote it? After what? After you. After you. Uh -huh. And with every living creature that was with you. The birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals. All those that came out of the ark with you. Every living creature on earth, I establish my covenant with you. <laughs> hey, even what Peto, <laughs> even Papa Fenty, <laughs> what a wonderful God! I establish my word, 
my covenant with you. So be careful and treat them good. Because they too have a covenant with God. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. (laughs) Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant. And the Lord said that I will make a sign. And for you guys to know that indeed, uh, the word that came out from my mouth is what? Nothing. A covenant. It's a what? A sign. And go ahead. Yes, sir. Let me show you about that sign. And Uh 12. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature. Are you sure that God said? Yes, sir. Not Emmanuel said. No, Papa. Not uh, Daniel Kano said. No, Papa. Are you sure? No. Not say you say. Not Angie. No, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Twelve. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you. And Hold on. Me. Yes, sir. And you. Yes, sir. Not you. Mm. And me. My God. <laughs> Church, if you know this, eh, you will not bother yourself about Satan <laughs> and those who want to terminate your life and the whole thing. No, no, no. They are fighting. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, daddy left, I think, about a week ago or so. There was a time uh, somebody threatened daddy and the whole thing. Long, long time thing. He said that I will not say a word, nothing. Do you know that the person that, yeah, the person was going somewhere, something happened, only him. You cannot trust somebody who has a covenant with God. Your God will never allow. Shout amen. Amen. They sent someone a long time ago to pierce me in one of my crusades, but my defender at that time was behind me. Amen. And the witch saw my defender. Uh, old man with white beard and I was inside smoke and she couldn't locate me. Came with spear. Came with Joseph, a uh, sister we called Ajia. Shout amen. amen. We have a wonderful God. We serve a wonderful God. You are not alone. Oh. That is the reason why some of you will do respect at time at your workplace somewhere people would just, you know, w- 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 when they see you coming, your presence always I- irritates them. The reason is that you carry the unseen, the oil, and they always want to cause confusion because anytime you come, they can't function. Anytime you come, you quench their, you quench their lights. Emmanuel Reed. Yes, sir. This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you. Me and you, uh-huh. And every living creature with you. Uh-huh. A covenant for all generations to come. Uh-huh. I have set my rainbow. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Who said that? God. I have set my what? My rainbow. Ah. Can you show me rainbow? <laughs> Is that not God? That's right. I have set my what? My rainbow. My rainbow. Uh-huh. In the clouds. In the what? In the clouds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Stop. Wow. I'm done. Wow. So rainbow belongs to God. The Lord used it as a what? A sign. To who? Between what? God himself. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, we serve a covenant God. And you know, before we share the grace, let's go to Genesis 12 and verse number 2. And I'm Genesis 12. Genesis 12 2 to 3. Two, two, Genesis 12 to I will make... Hold on, hold on. Genesis 12, 2 to what? 1, 2 to what? 
three. Uh -huh. One, two, and three. Okay. The, the Lord had said to Abraham, go from your country, your people and your father's household, to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. And I will bless you. I will make your name great. And you will be a blessing. I will bless those that I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people of the The Lord is telling somebody that he will bless those and anyone that will curse you. Your God will curse. So leave it into the hands of God. Those who are on your on their knees right now, blessing, releasing something upon your church, God will bless them. Anyone that will stay inside his room, uh, room church, and release evil words against you, it will bounce back because he said that he will curse those who curse. So if someone is cursing you now, without a what? A cause. Leave it into the hands of God. Be rest assured that it will never happen. And when they bless you, your God will bless them. When they curse, your God will curse them. And the Lord says something. Uh -huh. Three. I will bless those who bless you. Uh -huh. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will bless will be blessed through you. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him. And Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 Everybody years shout old. Everybody shout hallelujah. The time God called Abraham, Abraham was, Abraham, he was what? 75 years old. How old are you? Uh, our children in this great nation, America, please, I am begging you, when you reach 18, our youth, moving 19 to 22, don't think that you've arrived. <laughs> some children will force themselves, will try to do some things so that the mother will kick them out. Let me tell you something, you cannot do it. Please, if your mom can cook can pay some things and for you to support one, two, something. Be quiet. Because I want you to know that Papa Abraham was 75 years old and he was still inside his father's house plus Mama Sarah. That doesn't mean that you have to be in your dad's house for 70. But <laughs> it was just apartment, timber and hall, living room and the bedroom. 75. Seventy one. How old are you? Our youth. I will leave. I will do this. My mom wants me. I want to leave. Mom, I want to rent a place. Yes, you can start life, but please, our children, enjoy your man's food and prepare, save, so that you have more money. You don't have to quit untimely because uncooked food nobody will buy, but the cooked one. Shout hallelujah. Let your mom, you know, I'm telling you. Because there is something called ethnic protections and those things. We need them. So if you are 25 years, 24 years, and you're still under your mom's roof, uh, roof do not say that, oh, hey, I want to church. Take your time. Save. If no one is chasing you, church, is someone chasing you out? Lift your hands up. I am done. May the living God bless everyone. Hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Uh, I think when princess was a teenager something, I went to the bank, you know, open something, you know, princess. At that time was teen. So I put my, about two years ago or something, somebody called her. Miss princess, they think I don't hear me? 
I was lying down there, you know, thought that I was sleeping in the hotel, told her mother, Mr. President, you know, your dad's name is, uh, we want you to, is there any way? He said, no, please leave my dad's name on there. So that any time my dad visit the bank, he will drop something into mine. <laughs> and very soon I will change it. Everybody shout hallelujah. <laughs> so when I'm going there, I thought, Daddy, can you put 200 for me? Can you put 100 for me in the whole thing? And my name is still... <laughs> Everybody shout. I started laughing. They, they think that I'm, I heard everything. The mom said, I thought this is a good idea. I said, look at this. <laughs> Everybody uh, 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 shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor... Our youth, youth. Stay, connected. stay connected. Say, boys and girls, boys and girls. No, one no one is chasing you out. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Continue. 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 Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, at times, some of our youth wants to live like, you know, they want to prove. But if you don't have what they say, take your time. No one is chasing you. Save, work, do something. Shout Hallelujah. So that when you move, you can even support your mom small, small. Am I speaking to somebody? The Lord called Abraham out. And he was at the age of what? 75. God bless everyone. I am done in Jesus' name.